all of this uh, rules as to what we are supposed to do uh, during lockdown or to contain coronavirus. Um, there's a lot of controversy continually. Now, uh, accusations of serious gender divides uh, because new rules mean that men can have beards trimmed, women can't have, like, say, for instance, their eyebrows waxed. Yeah, this is under current uh, guidelines. Beauty salons are banned from performing treatments as, such as face waxing, eyelash treatments, makeup application and facials. Uh, but after vowing to challenge ministers on the decision, uh, we were going to be joined by Conservative MP Caroline Noakes, which we're still trying to... Oh, she's there. Hello, Caroline. Good morning. 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 Good. We can hear you. We were having problems with the line. Um, and also, we have salon owner Laura Grant. Uh, Laura is in her um, eyelash salon, Ula Lashes, in uh, Billericay in Essex. So let's start with you, Laura. Uh, what did you make? Obviously, when they were um, easing lockdown and they said salons are going to be open, that must have been music to your ears. But now you know the restrictions. How is that going to affect your reopening? When we heard the news on that we'd be opening on the 4th of July, it was real ecstatic. But now we can't do any face-to-face. -face. Obviously, we, we don't do face-to-face. -face. We work from behind. So in the lash and brow and facial industry, we are absolutely fuming. You can get a beard trim done, but you can't work from behind. And you can't work face-to-face. -face. We're working from behind. We're not working face-to-face, -face, Boris. We are working from behind. We have got a mask. We wear gloves. We wear a hat shield. We wear a shield. And we've also invented this extra shield yeah. to keep us behind here to stop the droplets from coming anywhere. Uh, Why is it that men can well, get... Well, well Laura, let's, let's ask Caroline, because she's in there. She's an MP. She's in the house. She represents um, Romsey and Southampton North and has done for 10 years. You're also the chair of the Women and Equalities Committee. Is that because, Caroline... A lot of these policies are devised by men who haven't got a clue what the real world's like. Oh no, she's oh. frozen again. She's frozen again. Oh, we'll I try and get her back. Would have said yes. Let's go. Yeah. Well, let's yes. go back to Laura. Oh, wait a minute. She's oh. back. She's back. She's back. Let, let's hear from Caroline. No. Oh. Let, let's go back to Laura because Laura. Um, I, I just want to show everybody a clip. This was um, uh, William Rag in the House of Commons. This is during Prime Minister's questions time, and this is where this uh, accusation of it being sexist has come from because they all seem to think it was rather amusing. So, Laura, um, I'm sure you saw that, or if you hadn't seen it at the time, I'm sure you heard about it. Everyone having a good old laugh. What did you think about that? Absolute disgraceful. It's completely sexist. As I say, they can get their beards trimmed, they've got their football back, got the pubs open. Way great, let's get it all back. Why are we not back at work? We work behind. It's not face to face. It's crazy. We need a date and we need a date today yeah. when we can get back. Yeah. But there's two things here, Laura. Um, there is your, your clients, your, your customers who desperately need this service, but also you as a business, as a small business, these businesses that they say they're, they're, they're trying to support. Where does this leave you? Absolutely. I mean, it, it's becoming a black market. A lot of women, they cannot afford to not work. They've got bills to pay. They've got children to put food food to put on the table, they're going underground, they're doing the black market and the government aren't getting any of their taxes, you know, and the girls are going into other people's houses and it's not safe. They haven't got the right equipment. At least if we're doing it in the salons, we're all set up for it. We've got the perfect PPE, you know, and now everyone's breaking the law and we're going to be put into prison. Not that I'm doing it, but I'm just saying put into prison and a large fine. I don't get it. It's back to work. We work from behind, not face to face. Well, we've, um, we've got Caroline Noakes, MP, um, also chair of the Women in Equality Gives Mission, back on the phone, I believe. Hello, Caroline, can you hear me? Morning, Ruth. Hi, I'm so sorry about this technology. Um, we were just talking to Laura there about her, her business. She has an eyelash uh, uh, salon in Essex, very, very concerned about uh, the future of her business. Um, how fur much further can you now take this with MPs to lobby for, for the salons to be allowed to uh, conduct facial uh, waxing and eyebrow threading when men can have their beards done? 
Well, I think Laura has put the case absolutely perfectly. She's explained how beauticians work from behind the head, not in front. And for me, it's about continuing to press the case with ministers to say, hang on a moment, this just isn't fair. You can have men having their beards trimmed and their noses waxed, sounds painful to me, but women can't have treatments on their face. And I think there are also some questions about you can have makeup artists work in the film industry, but not for somebody's wedding. And people who've been waiting months now to have their, their big day now have to do their makeup themselves. They can't have a professional makeup artist. It just seems wrong. Yeah. We were just showing a, a, a clip there of William Ragg at Prime Minister's Question Times and the Prime Minister himself all having a jolly old laugh about it all. Um, and that's why people have called this decision sexist. Some people are saying it's trivialising, uh, you know, women's beauty treatments. Do you think it is a sexist decision being made by men who don't understand this business, which is a multi-billion pound business? Yeah, it's a business that turns over... £30 billion pounds a year, it's enormous. And I think there is a misunderstanding and people have trivialised it. They've told me that it's just vanity. How can you say that to a woman who has polycystic ovary syndrome and needs to have facial waxing? How can you say that to an elderly person who might not be able to bend down to trim their toenails? And I think it's really important that we big this up for the brilliant uh, business that it is, for the fantastic entrepreneurs like Laura, who's spoken with so much passion this morning. And for my part, it's about getting the message across to hundreds and hundreds of MPs that in their constituencies, there will be at least several hundred beauticians working who all want to nothing more other than to get back to work and to play their part in building the economic recovery. You see, I think you raise issues that people don't really talk about, Caroline, and that is essential things. I mean, people don't think of uh, women who are going through uh, chemotherapy, for instance, and maybe have hair loss or someone who has mm. alopecia or something like that. There must be, you know, to disregard that whole section of population as, as needing something trivial or mm. cosmetic that's not really needed is, is wide of the mark, is it not? It's very wide of the mark. And last week I was twice in the house, I used the word nipple, because women who've had reconstructive surgery can have their nipples tattooed back on to make their breasts look absolutely yeah. realistic again. And I think that's such an important thing. And the, the amazing techniques to restore eyebrows to alopecia sufferers and uh, cancer patients, these aren't trivial. These are absolutely essential to their emotional and mental well-being. And I think we need to remember that a lot of it is about giving people more confidence, getting them able to go out and face the world, feeling better about themselves and playing their role in the economy because they have the, the confidence to, to go out with their friends, spend money in restaurants or perhaps go back to work. And Caroline, uh, Laura's obviously listening to you. Uh, is there any reassurance that you can give her that, that this is, situation is going to change, that you are campaigning for it to change as quickly as possible? Look, I'm keeping going. I spoke on this issue many times in the House last week using every opportunity. Any debate there was, I was on my feet talking about the beauty industry because I know how much people like Laura contribute to all of our well-being. So I'm not going to give up. I think it's a great start that we have salons open and able to perform some services. It's now to demonstrate to ministers that they can do this in a COVID-secure way, to iron out those anomalies and to let the whole industry open up. So I'm not giving up. I'm sure Laura isn't giving up either. No, well, and it's about uh, getting the message across. Yeah. But, Laura, is that because do you feel, listening to what Caroline's saying, witnessing what was going on in the House, the guidelines that are being issued, you know, pubs can, can open, barbers can open, do you feel a bit like the forgotten industry? We are definitely the forgotten industry. We are safe to work. I don't understand where the scientists are, are coming from. Let them do their job, mm -hmm. run the country and leave... This part, the experts, the specialists, to do what we do. You know what? You know where the scientists are coming from. They're all men with big bushy eyebrows, aren't they? <laughs> They've never been in a salon. And a beard. It's a beard. <laughs> Laura, but, thank good you. Luck. Um, good luck to you, Laura. Yeah, we hope you'll be allowed to, to work soon, because I know you're very concerned about your business and your staff. And Caroline Nex, MP, thank you very much for your time. I'm sorry that uh, the technical difficulties at the start of that. Laura, it's a great me. name. Oh la lashes. Thank you. Isn't it? <laughs> I, I, this is it's screen. <laughs> very good, very good.